Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Bro, and it's time to react to the SAG Awards. The cat has turned into a dog, and the dog's probably less likely to run away. We'll see if uh, anything happens where the dog can run away. It's a real test. Oh, here it is. Supporting actress. Get away. Divine Joy Randall. Divine Joy Randall. And it's clean, and it's a sweep. Nothing to say about it. Good win, Oscar confirmed. Supporting actor. Also gonna be, you know, Robert Downey Jr. Easy Wheezy. Okay. All right, all right. For a second, the R made me think Ryan Gosling. No, no. I was ready to freak out. I heard the R and I thought, not even. I, yeah. e even I know this. Well, the sweep continues in both the supporting categories. Now the lead acting categories is where it's gonna get interesting because people are split on what they're predicting and this will make or break certain contenders. Best actor. Is it Killian Murphy? Is it Paul Giamatti? I have a feeling it's that we're gonna be right about Paul Giamatti. You think so? Should be Murphy. All right. Wow. All right. I guess it's. it's, not, it's I not guess a race. that's it. It's not a race. I guess that's Holy it. Holy shit! If Emma Stone wins, it's it's BAFTAs and SAG and Oscars doing the same dance. I should have just gone with like the same. Well, obviously you think that you should have. I still think it's gonna be Emma Stone. I don't think Paul Giamatti can have a shot if he didn't win this. And you know what, Killian Murphy? I guess you can't deny the biopic performances. I we're guess you we're really done. Can't. We're done. It is BAFTA done. SAG oh. combo. It's over. A hindsight bias. It was probably silly to say that a performance that had like, you know, no gimmick to it, no transformation, no biopic type of thing, playing an original character like Paul Giamatti, and it doesn't quite fit the brand of the best actor win as much as Killian Murphy, I would say. All right, Lily Gladstone or Emma Stone, the, the Battle of the Stones. Lily Gladstone. Oh! Oh shit. Can oh, you fuck. believe it? We flopped in the, we flopped. Damn, we, we did flop. Flop. We Didn't even get a BAFTA nomination, wow. wins this award. Jesus Christ. Wow. Huh? Huh, what know. are you gonna do? I don't it's know. It's the only ambiguous category. What are you gonna do at the Oscars? What are you gonna do? That's the one I feel interesting like this acting is... category. Maybe it is as people say, it's like Michelle Yeoh last year. I don't know. The Golden Globe yeah. SAG combo and then goes on and you know, it, yeah. and just that's that, I don't know. To me, it felt like Poor Things is surging more than Killers of the Flower Moon, but I don't know if like, that brings Emma Stone to a, a second win. Maybe it just doesn't. Pretty close race for the Oscar, I have to think about it. I, it really just feels to me like a guess, but I don't know. I might even have to just trust the collective wisdom and go off of whatever people are predicting, whether it's on Gold Derby or my own personal app. <laughs> people are gonna start picking yeah, Lily Yeah, people Gladstone. are just gonna start picking Lily Gladstone and yeah. they're gonna predict her to win the Oscar. I, I, I kind of get it. I mean, her narrative's better. This is fascinating. At least we have something to hold our breath about with the Oscars. You know, the other yeah. acting categories are sewn and shut. It's totally gonna be Oppenheimer, by the way. Barbie needed yeah. Ryan Gosling yeah. to win. Well, it's just not gonna, movies have one ensemble without anything else, but I don't see how Oppenheimer's gonna lose. Oppenheimer. Wow. If it couldn't be any more clear, what movie is winning Best Picture? Yeah, my God, having and winning having eight SAG Oscars too. probably. Eight Oscars probably. You know, it's funny. Summer. Earlier on, when we were like, okay, you know, Oppenheimer is gonna take director. It's it's probably you know it could win Best Picture. It probably will win Best Picture. Even at that point, I feel like people were trying to figure out what could win SAG, what else could win. It's the the race is so over. Like you could have maybe had a little bit of a curveball if this went somewhere else. It's as obvious that Oppenheimer's winning this year as it was that Everything Everywhere is winning. There's no number yeah. two. Whenever you can't find the number two and you're looking everywhere, you're looking under every little box and every nook and cranny and it's not there, what else? SAG, DGA, PGA's tomorrow. Congrats, Oppenheimer's winning PGA. There's no need to make a video about it. It's just gonna happen. There's not crazy. a lot of like big categories where it could go multiple directions. It's really just best actress. Best screenplay is like sort of interesting. Yeah, adapted. Best ad adapted screenplay. Gladstone, are you, will you do it? It's one of those things you gotta feel out, you know? You I gotta, feel like if you're feeling it, you're gonna it. go with Gladstone. Well, maybe that's how this whole thing works. Maybe that's how this whole, like, the last ceremony before the Oscars yeah. works is is this just that. It's just that. Even though I said I was gonna go with the BAFTA 4 until the Oscars, no matter what happens here, I might be, like, a sucker and just and just flop. I might just roll over on my belly and say, okay, she's do okay, she's got it. Sure. It's happening, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Which stone looks shinier to you?